Hello. Oh. oh hey, babe. Yo, Charlie. You the man, bro. Fireworks. Fireworks. You the man, Charlie. Didn't go too good. Got a little spicy. A little spicy. And this could be yours. I think we have a cracked ringland. <laughs> And what did we just do? We did 700 to the tire, unlocked on 12 PSI. <laughs> yeah. I kind of fall in your lap. In front of everyone. In front of everyone. 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 Jack. We got Jack. We got Shop Dog Jack. That's true. Boom. Yeah. GM names your truck for you right there. This Bezel is Nikki. Piece. I've been calling her Wendy the whole time. It's Test, test, um, testing. Testing. Hello. Jackie Poof. Welcome back to Yazzie Fate TV. I got a lot for you this week. So much has happened in the last couple of weeks. Going off the last video, we put the big turbo on. But, um, as you can see, things, um, didn't go too good. Got a little spicy. A little spicy. So this week's video, I'm going to show you the dyno, what power we put down, what problems we went into. Then we also went to the Atlantic City truck meet. That was insane awesome. That's kind of where we found out we had a smoky truck. That wasn't cool. Everything else was. In front of everyone. In front of everyone. 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 So basically... I did like a mashup video of the dyno, update on the truck, Atlantic City truck meet. Shout out to all of them. Um, so we've been busy. We're going to be immediately following up with this truck. We're putting a new turbo on it. We thought we blew the motor, as oh, you will wait. see. And we got Jack. We got Jack. We got Shop Dog Jack. That's true. So we have a lot going on. A lot going on. Trailblazer SS giveaway. I'll show that in a second. I, 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 I'm not ready yet. We have a lot going on. So... We're going to catch you up to speed in this video, but by next week, by the time the video comes out, the Trailblazer SS raffle is officially going to launch. Boom! Shop on Jack. Your nose is running. That's right. Chevy Trailblazer SS 3SS giveaway is officially launching. You got to go on our Instagram page though to catch everything. We're doing... A raffle on it, and this could be yours. Jack, not included. Jack, not included, no. Shop dog, not included. So without further ado, let's get into this week's video. Weather's perfect. We got all of the extra components, spark plugs, exhaust delete if need be. We're going for a thousand horsepower and we're going for it right now. Let's go. pause i want to talk about something real quick what i have here is a 240 watt ufo style drop led light guess what we need some lights in here but i'm not just gonna hang one i'm gonna hang five of them now 
just so it's known, this is about a 1,200 square foot garage. Five of them is a little overkill. To be honest with you, I think three would have been perfect because they are 240 watts, but we want that little extra. Oh, camera lady, why don't you come closer? These things are as easy as this. If you want to hang them, obviously, and you have the wire too, if you want. Now, everything here that we use, that we partner up with, we only do it if it's quality, if it's backed by quality, nothing else. So, if you take a look at this, you can see that it's very well built. Sorry, I don't have light yet to show you because the garage doesn't have electric yet. But as you can see, it is a pretty solid unit, and I suspect I'm going to have no issues, and it's really simple to wire up. Or you can do it, uh, you can hardwire it if you'd like to as well. Now, this is cool and all, and we don't have electric, which is why I wanted to talk about this product today, because you're going to see it light up by the end of this video, and you can be the judge on how great this product is. But just for giggles, let's turn one on and see what it looks like. Here we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, oh, I think uh, I think we get the point. Oh. Can you imagine five of these? Seriously, look. That's nuts. Now, the reason why I got five of these is because that's a shop. And you know on this channel, we do motor swaps, turbo kits, transmission work, body work. We need a lot of lighting, and that's exactly what these lights are going to be used for. And my dressing room. Now, when you go on the website, you're going to find the coolest thing is they have these also in 100 watts, which honestly, five of those in here would also be plenty and they're extremely affordable. These here are 240 watt, and even they are a great deal. Now, if you go to you know, competitive dealers and want to get your own, you'll know that these things are pretty pricey. You can get six of these 240 watts for 450 shipped. You're not going to find that deal anywhere else. Okay, there it is. All six of those bad boys are wired in. You can see it's incredibly bright in here. And again, my favorite part is they don't get that hot. So it's just 240 LED of nothing but brightness. We have them right here on a switch. As you can see, I purposely did two here so we can watch the TV. And then obviously it's black without it. Sure. So as these were being installed, a friend of mine saw them. That friend is uh, the owner of Raw Automotive. He's actually ordering the same UFO style lights. Um, as you can see, man, they're phenomenal. They're, they're, there's not a dull spot in the garage. I can literally work just about any corner, which that was the whole point because currently we're working on these side by side. But as you can see, I have the truck taken apart. And over here, this truck needs an engine. so. We use all the square footage of the garage. These UFO style lights are unbelievable. I couldn't be happier with them. If you'd like your own or other lighting products, check the link in the description. Right here. Check the link in the description and tell them YFT sent you for your own discount at that. Now back to your scheduled programming.
and it was, it made 731 on 13, which is like almost what you're gonna do. And what did we just do? We did 700 to the tire, unlocked on 12 PSI. <laughs> With like a base, base tune up in it. We haven't moved the ignition or anything really yet. It's getting exciting. have it 836 at 700 interesting thing happened um ran out of voltage i need a bigger alternator kept dropping 11.4 11.5 so kind of weird but obviously that drains the coil pack so we gotta get a bigger alternator get a boost dial we're there but all in all it's running great and um just gonna have to settle with 836 to the wheels today right today we're just gonna have to live with 836 today Real quick, I have to promote Q's Auto Services. Everybody has their source where to get motors, transmissions, differentials. This is where I come. If you're in a tri-state area, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and you need the LS plug, this is it. And I'm not going to keep talking about it. I'm going to show you around. Today, I'm getting my 6.2 out of this Escalade right here. That was unfortunately in an accident, but fortunately, everybody's okay. And well... We're going to use the parts out of it. And the business runs just like that. You can see the motors behind me on the shelves. We have more over here. If you have anything LS based that you need, this is the place to get it. All of their information is going to be in the description below. And if you're in a tri-state area, this is your spot for the ultimate LS hookup. This is the Platinum Escalade too. So you know like the valve cover's got to be made out of gold. And I know Mike D's probably going to hit me up for some taillights on this thing. I just know it. Oh, it's the flex fuel one. Perfect. See that? See that? Yes. New Escalade V. I only got one dent right here. And it's pretty easy. Nah, that's good. It's good. What do you mean? 
It's not that bad. It's just got the little dent. Think that'll bust out? Yeah. So today we're getting the six two. Thanks to my buddy Vince. That's how I actually got the hookup at Hughes. So six twos for the Trailblazer SS. It just kind of was perfect timing. I really wasn't looking for a motor. Then saw the video with the Trailblazer that we got. Prepping the giveaway car at that. And then he goes, Yaz, I have a 6.2 for you. And I said, well, Vince, I don't, I'm not ready for a motor today. He goes, but I got a 6.2 for you. So when Vince calls, you listen. Because usually, 11 times out of 10, it's a good deal. It's a pretty good ratio on your end. It's kind of falling your lap. Yeah, it, did, it literally. Whoop. So we're getting it pulled out now. Putting it in the race truck. We got the race truck today because I had to get in alignment. So we're going to put the 6-2 in the back of the race truck, strap it down, and full boot. Nah, we're going to drive these people in. It is a busy week here. It's 5 a.m. We're going to the Atlantic City truck meet. As you can see, we're all loaded up at the race truck. Got the daily, which is going to be in the show as well. I already heard from multiple people it is packed. Some of them got there Friday night. We're leaving right now. Again, we're all loaded up. But the cool thing is, come on here. By the time this video comes out, we're going to have all the information on the Trailblazer SS giveaway. That's right. And you don't want to miss that. So if you watch us on YouTube, you definitely don't want to miss us on Instagram if you want to win a free car. Don't you think you're taking this a little too serious? No. We have officially arrived. As you can see, the line is massive. There's baby truck. There's baby truck's clone right there. That's wild. Um, as expected, it's going to be a massive line getting in, but that's part of the fun. So, we're here.
Is it gonna hit? Wait, I'll drop it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit. Is that your spot right there? Yeah, that's all right, perfect.
Well, we had a great show at Atlantic City Truck Meet, but I think we have a cracked Ringland because it's smoky, smoky. And uh, it's a shame because we only have like 1,900 miles on it and uh, it's smoking. So we're going to load it off, put it on the lift, do a compression test. But I suspect Ringland because I popped the oil cap off and it was chooching pretty good. So I don't think it's the turbo.